Hey Majesties, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for always returning. Trust you and yours are well and you're loving yourself and others like always. Um, today, we will talk about the new colonizers that are taking our lands before our eyes, right? Now, um, <laughs> we are not free. We are not free. For some of you in the diaspora who feel that, um, okay, you weren't taken out as slaves. Um, yours is better. You are in the continent having a good time. <laughs> you know, when I see people think like this, I'm like, I just wish they knew. I just wish they know what is happening or what happened. No one is left out. Your majesties. Whether home or in the diaspora, we are all going through hell. Now, the Arabs are coming in another, in a, in a particular style. When you talk about slavery, that of the Arabs lasted far more than what the, the Europeans did. It lasted far more and it was dangerous, very deadly, very bad. What they were doing to our, our ancestors was very bad. Like they were ready to wipe. This is what they, of course, look at the northern part of the, con the continent. Look at Egypt, look at Morocco. In short, now they are even saying they are not Africans. That's what they see. And they want to attribute the efforts of our ancient parents, or our ancient fathers, to some Arabs. They tell you they are Arabs. But what did these people do when they invaded Nubia? They invaded Kemet. They castrated our men. They castrated our parents, our four parents. They castrated them and took our mothers as wives. They made our men eunuchs. So they were serving. And then took the women, start having children. They started having children. And that's how, yeah. They started wiping out the race, wiped out the color, wiped out the color. And that is why those parts are what they are. And it's quite unfortunate of course it's not even unfortunate because uh, they are not pure blood mm -mm. <laughs> that's not what i mean but i hope you understand they will tell you they are not african it's it's partly true it's partly true because they have wiped them out they have some little gene some some little african dna in them just some little. They changed the name of places. They turned in the languages. They, they mixed everything up. Like they were just ready to just wipe out the whole people and start their life. It was so dead, too deadly. Barbaric. These are the same people that see today. Slavery hasn't ended in their end a lot of africans go to arab countries for work there are agencies that propagate these jobs people stand up and go mostly women mostly young girls go to serve as house helps as nannies and what have you when you when you when you hear because of course i've not i've not practically seen except videos and then some information when you hear what is done to some of these ladies was it not last time uh i covered a story where the kenyan lady was forced to breastfeed dogs yeah her employer forced her to breastfeed dogs This is a level. This is this is it. 
Now, this same group of people are turning their, their waists now back to the continent officially but in a way of we are coming to do something good we are coming to do something good so they are they are they are acquiring land and our leaders i don't know i don't know if we don't do something fast to these puppets one day we wake up and discover that even where you think is your own is not your own again your Majesties. Hmm. The United Arab Emirates, where we are right now, is using its vast oil money to buy up the rights to land in many African countries in order to sell carbon credits to major polluters. Just over a year ago, in 2022, a member of the UAE royal family set up a private investment company called Blue Carbon to facilitate the deals. The company is negotiating to purchase the rights to about a tenth of Liberia's landmass, a fifth of Zimbabwe, and swaths of Kenya, Zambia, and Tanzania. The Guardian newspaper reports the deal involves land about the size of the United Kingdom. Blue Carbon would then sell carbon credits linked to forests preserved on this land. Many critics have likened the UAE's plan to a new form of colonialism. So what they do is give cramps uh, to these countries so that they can be able to actually attain the right over that land in the name of uh, a carbon credit. And what a carbon credit is basically is, is an imaginary commodity. These fossil fuel companies and the rich world have promised the world that they will help prevent dangerous interference with our climate system. What that requires is for them to actually cut emissions, massive cut in emissions, so that we can be able to contain the rise in emissions. So they're failing to do that. They've also failed to provide the climate finance that the developing world requires. Now, to add insult to the injury, they now want to dis forcefully displace our people off their land so that they can actually be able to have a secure pipeline of permits to continue to pollute. What they're doing now is basically introducing this new form of colonialism where they basically grab our land but without permission so that they can continue to emit. And Africa is on the front line suffering first and worst the impact of climate change. What African people require is for us to decarbonize the global economy. We have heard that, Your Majesties. My Kenyan uh, brothers and sisters, my Majesties from Kenya, why is it that every bad thing, Kenya is always, is, is always in the list? Yeah? Pushing their, her, her children to, to Israel to go and be farmers in the midst of a war, Kenya was there. Yeah? Giving our land free of charge to, to, to the Arab, Kenya is still there. What is happening to the eastern part of the of the of this continent? What is going on? And I keep saying this: there are things that we shouldn't. Um, um, I don't know. We are so free about some things that we are, we shouldn't be free about. This is our heritage, Joe. Oh, is our inheritance. Anything that has to do with land. At home, we shouldn't play with it. We should not. It was China, 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 here and there. Kenya, Kenya was also present. I think some portions of land were even given to the Chinese. That some some Kenyans are like it's like the Chinese will even evacuate the people from that part. What is happening? You think. They will leave you there. They will pursue you out and gain control. And the problem is, the problem is when they settle down, it's difficult to ask them to leave. Look at what South Africa is going through with the, those settlers. When they settle down, it's difficult to ask them to leave. And we are playing around with things we should not play around with. Most of the problems we have in the continents are things that we can solve. We can look for solutions within, within. Within. Africa is not one country. Africa is a continent. 
the largest continent in the world. Forget what is, is on that uh, world map. If we can put our heads together, oh, what do you have? Oh, I have this. Oh, you don't have this? We exchange. We open our borders. Right? We move around ourselves, share ideas, learn each other's language so as to communicate within ourselves. Do businesses with each other. Trade with each other. Technology, we work it out. But no, we always want to tie ourselves to, 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 to the world, um, I don't know, populations. People that don't care about us, they only care about what they can get. These are people that want to tie ourselves with. They come to tell you, oh, this is what we are going to do. It's so sweet from the beginning. But they never keep to their word, and these are colonizers for you. They don't. And this one, this very, this very one, this very uh, new colonizer coming back again, is even very dangerous. That we have to be watchful. We have to shine our eyes. It's quite unfortunate. It's unfortunate, your majesties. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Leave your comment on thought there at the section. And I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself and love others. Stay safe. Stay positive. Oh.